Assalamualaikum and thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, I thought I would like to share with you a little bit on attention management. All this while, I've been doing a lot of programs on time management and I think with the current progression uh, in terms of the pandemic and so on, a lot of us has been working from home and I think it's very timely to talk about attention management rather than time management. So let's uh, proceed and I will elaborate further on what is attention management. Uh, to put it in simple words, attention management is the practice of controlling distractions. Now, uh, we have two things here. Interruption, things that's coming from the outside, that is sometimes we, we cannot control. You know, people just walk in, you know, sound coming in from here and there. That is something that is slightly beyond our control. So, uh, distraction, on the other hand, is something that comes from within, something that distracts us, uh, pulling our attention to other places. So I use the word here control, control distractions, because we need to control the amount of distraction that comes into our mind and focus on being present in the moment, meaning that uh, we are paying careful attention, uh, giving our utmost uh, attention, focus to what's happening in this point of time, what we are doing at that point of time. Okay, so that is the definition of attention management. How is attention management different from time management? Now, basically, it's similar in terms of concept uh, to a certain extent, but time management is uh, basically focusing on engaging or basically uh, focusing on how we utilize the time rather than engaging in what we do. So attention management is the process of thinking about how are we being present in, in that space of time, uh, doing what we need to do versus planning or scheduling in terms of what to do, when and what, basically. So that, that is the slight difference of attention management versus time management. Attention management, again, is uh, how are we engaging in what we do, whether we're giving it full attention or um, are, we, are we just, you know, uh, doing it and passing time without really putting any much focus on it versus time management where we focus on the scheduling part, the, the where, where do we do what, okay? Um, in terms of attention management, slightly different from time management, where time management usually we talk about urgency and uh, level of importance. For attention management, we shift the axis to two things. Number one is control. Uh, remember, controlling the amount of distraction that, that we have um, versus focus. Focus is giving careful attention to what's happening. So in terms of control and focus as an axis, we can divide our attention into certain categories. Uh, the first category, let's talk about low focus and low control. Basically, we have no control over what's happening in terms of how we get distracted and we are not really focused on anything. Basically, this is when uh, we categorize it under the, the category of reactive. We, we react to what's happening. If, if there's something that needs to be done, you know, we just uh, do it. Um, no careful attention to, to prioritizing, no careful attention to, to focusing, and so on and so forth. So this is, I would say, the lower category of attention management where we just react to what's happening. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, the higher end of the spectrum is when we, we are being very mindful. This is when we have high control and high focus. Uh, basically, high control here means we are doing it on purpose. We know we are doing this at this point of time, like me recording this video. I'm being very mindful in terms of controlling uh, as much as I can the amount of distraction. I'm, I'm closing the door to my room. Um, I'm being here, being present. I'm focusing on what I'm doing. I'm not looking at my phone and so on and so forth. So that is mindful. The, the extreme end of, of, of the spectrum uh, in relation to reactive. Now, as we go through being mindful, sometimes as we get into the momentum of doing the task, doing the work, 
we tend to go into what what I normally say as the autopilot mode. The autopilot is basically when you are in the flow, you are not really uh, putting much effort in controlling the distraction because you're so into it, you know, you, you're just focused, you, you're just moving forward and uh, getting lost in time, basically doing the task itself. So this is uh, flow, when you enter the, the category of flow. Your control level drops, but your attention, your focus remains high. Now, on the other hand, this may sound a bit negative, but basically it's really necessary where we have control in terms of we are um, consciously um, putting away the distraction, uh, but our attention is not uh, given to any particular focus. We are not we are not thinking about something in specific. So what's happening here is we are allowing our mind to drift. We are allowing our mind to relax, recuperate, possibly trying to figure things out. So daydreaming is actually very good. But the, the problem we have right now is because uh, daydreaming is something that is supposed to be as a recovery, as a time for you to, to allow your, your brain to recover and, and you know, uh, connect the dots, um, consolidate information and so on and so forth. But what tends to happen is that nowadays, we do not allow for this to happen. We don't allow ourselves to daydream. Therefore, we don't allow our mind to rest. We tend to pick up our phone whenever we have the, the time gap. Uh, the void in terms of our time, we pick up the phone and try to do something else. So that makes our our attention or basically makes our our mind very tired because we don't allow ourselves to have that. It is uh, on the positive side. Basically, there's there's not really uh, a positive or negative side of it, but uh, we we tend to have a negative connotation where whereas it is not wrong. High level of control in terms of the distraction. Uh, not really giving any particular focus on one thing because we're we trying to diversify, you know, just really mean thinking out loud and, and so on and so forth. It is not wrong. But attention management basically is playing around with these four areas. Uh, we try to not be too much uh, of a reactive, but also it is not wrong to do that. Uh, we are trying to have uh, reach, reach a, a, a point where we can have good flow but it all starts with trying to be mindful, uh, managing your distraction and also giving one particular attention or focus on something at that point of time. Okay, so that's uh, attention management. Moving on, how can we do or basically what can we do to improve our attention management? I'm going to share with you uh, three simple tips. Um, I, would, I would say it's very practical. First one is be aware of your relationship with timing. Now, what do I mean by this? We all know what type of a person we are. Some of us are morning person, some of us are night owls. So uh, in terms of working from home, you know, not being confined to the, the, the typical nine to five uh, framework of work or job. So right now, because everything is really up to us to, to, to manage our attention throughout that 24, 24 hours a day, um, be very mindful in terms of our relationship with timing because some of us knows uh, when is our peak productivity, when, when is our good time, when, when is the, the time best suited for us to do our, our work. Like for example, me, myself, um, I would say that I'm more of a morning person because mornings, early mornings is when I, I indulge myself in thinking, doing the, the heavy duty stuff, uh, writing. Uh, sometimes I also write later in the day, uh, close to night. But uh, morning is when I get to, to minimize the distraction. I get to control the distraction. So uh, I reserve my morning to do that kind of work. Uh, throughout the day, I'm a little bit more uh, reactive. Sometimes I allow myself to, to have that daydreaming, uh, uh, what do you call that, category. Uh, but when I get to work, uh, I'll try as much as possible to quickly go into the category of flow. So be very aware of how you uh, function well in terms of your timing. That's number one. Number two, uh, to look at scheduling. 
um, in a different perspective. Now, there's, there's two perspectives to this. Uh, one is the managed perspective where you schedule uh, tasks, work uh, in terms of slots, time slots. That's, that's the managed uh, scheduling perspective. Now, the second one is the make. The make is when, like for me, I, I go on the make uh, side of it where I don't think about uh, filling up my time in terms of hourly. But what I tend to do is I focus on the big chunks. Let's say, for example, uh, today, this morning, I want to do or I want to record this video. So all the time in the morning, I'm spending on this. Uh, once I've done this, once I'm, I'm, I'm finished, uh, I feel satisfied. I'm okay with it. Um, I have that sense of being productive because I've I finished it. So I don't allocate any other uh, calls, appointments, or, or you know, any other small, small things in between. So I look at my, my schedule, my day, as uh, big chunks rather than hourly uh, slots. Okay. So the third one, the last one, my tips uh, for you is to Netflix it. So what do I mean by next Netflix it? Uh, you know, when, uh, I mean, in, in recent times, we have Netflix and because we have Netflix, uh, certain TV shows or certain shows uh, are presented to us uh, as, as, as a whole, as a whole package, like the whole season. You can binge watch the whole season in one, one sitting. But at the same time, Netflix allows us to, to get away from, you know, back in the 90s, uh, I'm, I'm an 80s kid. So when we had to wait every week to watch uh, a show, so we were very, very uh, particular in terms of, okay, let's, 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 let's wait for this. Uh, let's say, for example, Wednesday, um, nine o'clock. Wednesday, nine o'clock is, is, you know what show is coming up. So you anticipate and you wait and you just focus on watching that. You can finish your homework and, you know, just start and, and, and watch it with, with free conscious. Now, uh, similar to that concept, what I'm trying to say here is, uh, because there's a lot of shows on Netflix and you can binge watch the whole season, two, three seasons at one go, doesn't matter. So this is where what I mean by Netflix it is uh, to decide on what show to watch and watch it at the best time that you feel is uh, proper. Uh, again, going back to uh, the timing. So like that work, you know there's certain work that, that's going to take up um, a whole lot of time. There's certain uh, work that's going to stretch uh, over a period of time. So consider it like a Netflix. Know what you want to do and know what you want to do very, very precisely, very quickly. Uh, basically, similar to goal setting, you focus on it, get it done, and, and progress accordingly. So rather than reactive, you know, just uh, switching on the TV and flicking through, seeing what's, what's on and just watch what's available. So you know what you want to watch, you watch it. Either you want to watch it one episode or, or you want to allocate the, the, the rest of the day, like I mentioned, manage or manage, manage or make, uh, you know, and, and, and you know, just watch what you, what you intend to watch. Focus on that. So Netflix it. That's my concept. All right. So basically that's uh, my sharing for this uh, video. Uh, so that's that's my take on attention management. Hope this video uh, you find it useful and uh, you know uh, maybe something to consider focusing on moving forward uh, with with the pandemic situation where I don't think uh, working from home will go away uh, anytime soon. So maybe rather than just uh, keep on focusing on time management, we shift towards attention management. All right. So thank you for uh, tuning in. Thank you for watching this video on my sharing. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Stay safe.